Hey guys, it's Carrie. Welcome back. I hope y'all have had an awesome Wednesday. I am filming this Wednesday night around 9 o'clock my time, Texas time, Dallas time. Um, kind of had to wait until my house got empty and nice and quiet. Everybody's out. So just me and the dog. So I thought I would come on here um, and do a video for y'all. This one I'm really excited about. Um, this is actually retail wax. And this is um, Tuscany and Oak and Rye that I am able to purchase at my Kroger store. And I have, um, I have actually purchased um, these candles and melts a couple of years ago, and they performed very well for me in my home. So I was really excited to get back in there and see maybe what fall scents they had. And I was able to um, snag some really, really good ones. I actually went to two Kroger's um, just to kind of compare and see maybe what one had that the other one didn't. So I was able to get three candles and quite a few wax melts. So let's just get into this. Um, we'll do the wax melts first and then we'll end up with the candles. So at Kroger, um, like I said, they have this brand here, which is the Tuscany. And then they also have Oak and Rye. And I got some of both. Um, now the Tuscany, that is also the brand of the candles that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, these wax melts, let's see, I'm trying to think, they normally go for like, I want to say $2.99. Um, most of these that I have here, I got on sale. Um, they were like a dollar off, so I got them for about um, $2 instead of 3 and they they perform so well um so we'll just start with this one here this one i actually got three of because i'm such a fan of this scent um it is pumpkin spice and um, it says premium satin wax and they do put the scent notes on the front pumpkin cinnamon and clove it is a soy blend and it's 2.5 ounces and it's just very um it says satin wax but i love the way like it feels it's just very like smooth um yeah love it and they come out of the clamshell very easily oh i had this scent last fall and i remember how much I loved it. It is such an authentic pumpkin spice scent. Oh, because you get the pumpkin, you get the cinnamon and the clove. Oh, it is so good. It's, it's really what pumpkin spice should smell like. Oh, it's not like overly heavy on any of those. It's not too much pumpkin or too much cinnamon or too much clove. They're perfectly balanced. Oh, and you'd smell this and you just think fall. It's so good. And I remember last year, I had this going in my house during the fall season and it threw incredibly well. It lasted more than two days. Um, yeah, so I got three of those. I'm so excited. Let's see. Um, also from the Tuscany, I picked up cinnamon and I got two of these. Yeah, two. Uh, let's see. Scent notes are warm cinnamon sweetened with sugar. And I don't think I've ever had just the plain straight cinnamon from Tuscany. I've had, you know, their cinnamon blended in with other things and I love their cinnamon. So I was excited just to try a simple straight cinnamon scent. It's a beautiful red color. Oh, it's nice. Yeah, this is so nice. 
this makes me think Christmas time. Oh, so good. This, and it's, it's funny because you can see the little picture of the cinnamon sticks and that is what this smells like. Like, you know how you go in the grocery store, you go down the spice aisle and you get your little jar of cinnamon sticks and you open it up. This smells like a jar of cinnamon sticks. It's really good. It's very strong. Um, so I don't think many people are going to like this because I know so many people out in wax world are not, you know, straight up cinnamon lovers like I am, but this is amazing. This is like holidays, holidays, holidays. It is so good. Um, it would work great on its own. I can see blending this with other things, but that is cinnamon, very excited. And I think, oh, actually one more Tuscany and then the rest of these are oak and rye. Yeah. Okay, now this one here, I kind of surprised myself with this one. <laughs> um, this is Fireside. Okay, so it's no secret that I do not enjoy smoky, woodsy, you know, Fireside scents or so I thought. But as I was, you know, in the wax melt aisle at Kroger and I saw this, um, and I saw the scent notes, they say smoky notes of birch and pine. Um, it just, I don't know, something about the pine, I was like, okay, well, maybe this is like kind of giving off some Christmassy vibes. So I grabbed it and I smelled it. And first of all, it's just this beautiful gray color. And you guys, like if you ever purchase a Tuscany melt, just like feel the top of it. It's just, it's so like, I don't know. It's just smooth. I just, I, I like the way they feel. Um, when I smelled this, I was like pleasantly taken aback at how much I really liked it. Um, because the pine came through in this in a way that just made me think of like a Christmas tree lot. Because it it is, you know, kind of smoky, but the pine, for me at least, kind of is a little bit stronger than the smoky part. And it just made me think of Christmas trees. And so I got it. I just got one because I want to see, you know, on warm if I like it as much as I do on cold. Um, but I'm going to hold on to this for December and I will let you know. But I'm excited to see how I like Fireside. Okay, so that is all for the Tuscany brand. Now we'll get into the Oak and Rye. Okay, so for Oak and Rye, um, I picked up one of their straight cinnamons. Um, now they do not put uh, scent notes on theirs. Uh, it's 2.5 ounces, just like the others. Now theirs, I will say the oak and rye ones are not, you know, the satin wax. They're not nearly as smooth feeling as those. But this one is a great cinnamon scent. These are not quite as easy to pop out as the Tuscany ones. All right, so this one is brown. Okay, so the Tuscany one um, was a little bit of a sweeter cinnamon. This is like a spicy cinnamon. I still love it, absolutely love it. Can't wait for that. Okay, um, trying to see, some of these I got two of. Okay, this one here is Vanilla Pumpkin Cream. This is also one that I had last fall and I fell in love with it. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get this out. Oh, yes I did, okay. Oh, this is amazing. These Oak and Rye ones, um, I haven't had a ton of the Oak and Rye, but the ones that I have had, 
are also great performers for me. You know, a, a cube, maybe a cube and a half in a warmer is very strong and lasts more than, you know, a day, a couple of days. This one, oh, you get that pumpkin, but you get that creaminess of the vanilla. Oh, it's so good. It is so good. This is not a pumpkin spice. This is just like a rich, creamy, vanilla pumpkin. It is so good. So, so good. All right, now this one here, I got two of. Uh, this is cinnamon roll cookies. Um, I remember smelling this one in the store. I'm sure I looked ridiculous because I was in Kroger. You know, most people go to Kroger for groceries. I go for wax melts. <laughs> and I was, you know, standing there in the wax melt candle aisle, opening up all these clamshells and smelling them. Okay, I can't get this one out, but. And I smelled this one and I was like, yep, I'm getting another one because this, oh, you get that spice of the cinnamon, but you get a like a bakery goodness from that cookie. This kind of reminds me of like um, like an extra extra spicy snickerdoodle. You know those cinnamon sugar cookies. I'm not sure. It says cinnamon roll cookies. Um, but I'm not really getting cinnamon roll as much as I'm getting like a, a snickerdoodle. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's spicy though. This to me is actually a little bit spicier than just their regular cinnamon, but I love it. Absolutely love it. I got two of those. All right. Um, next one here is apple cinnamon swirl. Um, yes. As you can see, this is very cinnamon heavy, pumpkin heavy, fall heavy. I just went all out for those kinds of scents. And this is a really pretty dark brownish color. Yeah, these oak and rye ones are very hard to come out. Um, got this one out though. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh. This brings me such autumnal fall, fall baking. Oh yeah, it has a picture of an apple pie. If you had this going in your house and someone walked in, yeah, they would, they would swear up and down someone was baking like a, an apple pie with cinnamon something on the top. <gasps> So good it is so good all right next one here uh, is Dutch apple bread um, now this one and a couple of these others yeah just one more um, this is still from the oak and rye brand but it's in their homemade collection I'm not quite sure what that is I don't know if that's like a limited edition kind of thing but this scent just really sounded interesting to me, Dutch apple bread. And I remember this is one that I smelled in the store. And when I first smelled it, I didn't put it in my basket because it didn't really excite me on first sniff. But then I went back and I smelled it again and I got it. It's very, very, very apple-y. There is no cinnamon in this, at least to my nose. Um, it's very apple-y. But I was like, you know what? September is my apple month, um, so I picked it up. Um, we'll see how it does on warm, but Dutch apple bread, we'll see. And another one in their homemade collection was Spiced Pear Cider. Pear is a scent that I'm slowly like getting a lot of. Um, didn't really used to be a fan of pear in my candles or wax or whatever, but I'm coming around to it. Like I really, really enjoy pear scents. Um, 
and this is delicious. Oh, I get the cider. Yeah, it's a spicy pear. Oh, it's good. It's really good. It would be like, you know, instead of an apple cider, you're getting still that cider-ness, but with pear instead of apple. Oh, it's good. This gives me fall vibes too. Yeah, that's really, really nice. Okay, next I have Comforts of Home. This is one that I smelled in the store and I was like, oh, I need more, I need more, I need more. Um, but this was the only one left. So I'm probably going to visit some more Kroger's to see if I can find this one here because I love it so much. I love it. I wish I had scent notes on the front of this because I'm trying to figure out what I'm getting. Comforts of home. So oh, I get apple. I don't really get cinnamon, but maybe like a mold apple scent. Oh. Yeah, it's just very warm, comforting, inviting. Oh, it's good. I want to say there's some spices in here, but it's not spicy. It's just warm, like a warm apple scent. It is amazing, amazing. I want more, I want more. I want more. Comforts of home. <laughs> All right, next we have sweet caramel or caramel. Oh, yes. Another one that I smelled in the store and I was like, oh yeah. Um, another one that there was only one of on the shelf. I'll need to get more because I love caramel scents. I love straight up caramel. I love blending caramel with my pumpkin, with my apple. Oh, this is very, very, very good. And you know, sometimes caramel can tend to be like almost just so sweet it makes your head hurt. But this is not that. This is very, it is sweet, but it's, it's not like sickeningly sweet. I can see melting this with some apple scents and, you know, get like a caramel apple thing going on. Oh, yeah. Amazing. I need more of that, too. Okay. Next, we have apple cinnamon. You, you always, always have to have an apple cinnamon in your collection. I mean, it's just, you got to. And it's a beautiful, beautiful red color. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna need more of this too. I see another trip to Kroger in my uh, future. This is amazing. I smelled these in the store, but kind of put them to the side and I just didn't remember how good they smell. Oh, wow. This is an awesome, awesome apple cinnamon scent. It's, I would say maybe Mm. Uh, 70 percent apple 30 percent cinnamon because it's very apple-y and that cinnamon is in the background that yeah, non-cinnamon lovers could do this for sure this is great this is great 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 this might be one of my first ones i pull out on september the first for my apple month yeah because this you know kind of makes you feel, okay, by summer, it's fall time. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And my last one here is oak and rye, nutmeg, and cinnamon. I love um, Celtic Moonspice. I've got so much Celtic Moonspice in my collection, um, which is cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. I just love that scent. Okay, I cannot get this one out. This is in here like really good. And it's nice. Yeah, it reminds me very much of the uh, Celtic Moon Spice. It's just a, uh, you know, your typical kitchen spice scent. 
that thing you put on in your house that just is very um, like welcoming, warm and inviting, something you would put on before company came over, love it. All right, so that is it for my wax melts. And I will show you my three candles I picked up. And I really like scored like a great deal because when I went for these candles, they were actually on sale. Um, these are normally $12.99 and I got them for $6.99. Now, Tuscany, they do put out uh, larger like jar candles. Um, and the jar candles, it's like a, like a marble wax with um, two wicks. And I have had those before. Those for some reason just do not perform great for me in my home. So when I buy Tuscany, I always go for the, um, the little smaller ones here that are three wicks and these are the satin wax. And these just seem to work better for me. Um, but if you do go into Kroger and you look at their candles, they are all on sale. The big ones, these smaller ones, um, lots of scents to choose from. So I will just start right here. These are 14 ounce candles. Again, $6.99, great deal. Um, this is in Vanilla Bean, and they do, they don't really put like um, scent notes, it just says pure and sweet. And these are soy candles, um, three wicks. You know, and I, every once in a while, I just want just a plain vanilla candle. Um, because sometimes, like I love to pair my candles with my wax, and sometimes my wax might be just a like powerhouse thrower, and I don't really need anything to kind of interfere with my wax, but I want a candle for ambiance. So I might just put a vanilla candle, so something that's not gonna take away from the, you know, the scents of my wax. And this is very nice. It's just a plain, lovely, vanilla scent love it i will probably go back and get more for 6.99 because yeah you can never have enough vanilla okay this one here oh so excited this is an orchard apple i had to get this for september uh and it just says fresh picked apples but okay first of all the labels are so pretty but look at this wax you guys look at it it's layered red, green, and white. I love it. Oh, this is the juiciest Mac apple scent. Like, oh, when I think like, let's kick off apple season. This is what I think. Like, this is what a true apple candle should smell like. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. It's like, it's tart and juicy, like at the same time. It's amazing. It is amazing. And last but not least, this is a, um, a fairly new one. I've never seen this scent before from Tuscany, so I don't know if this is brand new this year. Um, this is in Spiced Pumpkin. Again, with the colors, look at that. Look at that. So autumn, so fall. I love it. And I mean, and look at the label. Look how pretty that is. And the scent notes on here, cinnamon, clove, and nutmeg. Oh, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's, yeah, it's so good. So I'm trying to see... This is Spiced Pumpkin, and this is Pumpkin Spice. Um, all right, so the wax melt says Pumpkin, Cinnamon, and Clove, and the candle says Cinnamon, Clove, and Nutmeg. They're very similar, so I can see pairing those. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I see a Kroger trip <laughs> happening in the near future for me because, you know, on sale, the prices are like you can't beat for $6.99 for a candle and the wax melts and uh, yeah. So I was super excited to share that with y'all. If there is a Kroger near you where you live, definitely go in there and check them out. Um, you might find some that I didn't find and if you do, I'd love for you to tell me about it. 
So thanks again for clicking on this video. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love for you to become a subscriber to Carrie's Collections. If you already are a subscriber, thank you so much for being part of my wax journey. And until the next video, y'all take care, be good, be safe, and be kind. And I will see you next time. Bye guys.